Hey guys, Mitch here, and today I'm joined with the man, the myth, the legend himself, Danny Wakeford, and his lovely manager and bassist, Katie. Hello. Hey guys, so thank you for having me. So, uh, how are you doing today, first of all? Well, I am very good, thank you. Yeah. Good. Yourself? Yes, great, thanks. Fantastic. Thank you for having us. How are you enjoying Swansea so far? Well, um, it is so much nice to see um, very nice um, Wales for its very long country. But um, Swansea is a very nice um, a town. Lovely. Have you been to Swansea before? Um, for my first time. Yeah, I don't think any this of us have been Oh, wow, okay. So we, only, we only just got here, really, so I can't yeah. say we've seen So you haven't had a chance to explore much. yet. But no, no, it's really nice. Okay, cool. Um, so are you excited for your first time in Swansea tonight? Oh, yes. I hear it's going to be very busy, so lots of screaming girls. Uh-huh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. You like the screaming girls. <laughs> yeah, I, I noticed, really. That's the reason we all do it, right? Uh, so how's the tour been so far? The tour is really great so much for a um, very nice big tour for that in Sin City. Fantastic. So do you have, has there been any show in particular which is, you would say has been the best show? Or do you have any like funny tour stories? Anything that sticks out in your mind? Mm, not Last quite. night was pretty good, Dan, wasn't it? Not, um, yeah, sometimes. The mess was, the crowd was very enthusiastic last night. Oh, yes. <laughs> I did very enjoy that in Plymouth, yeah, yes. Fantastic. And I see your mum and dad are on the tour as well. Oh, yep. Yeah. yeah. They're fantastic. here to sell the merch. That's their oh, job. Oh, yeah. good. So you've got them working hard then. Yeah. <laughs> they do well, a good job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Doing an okay. <laughs> so, um, so I know we were just saying about food then. So I'm in a band myself and I know that touring, the most important thing on the list is when you get to the venue, where are you going to eat? So, what is your favourite food to eat on tour? Well, at dinner out today, we are always going to um, Bernando's. Yeah? So that's your favourite restaurant, Nando's? Yeah, that's right. Good choice. <laughs> I like that, I like that. Um, so I've seen that you write your own songs. I want yeah. to know, where do you get your ideas for your songs? Hmm... What do you say? So what, when you're writing your songs, what, what do you think about? Like, sort of, what's your inspiration? Uh, well, my songs is a very nice indeed when I have to do something to do something for my brain, and so is Tom Cook as well when we are songwriters together. Oh, okay, so, so yeah, da uh, Daniel's songwriting partner. Oh, so brilliant! Daniel. Just like a duo. Yeah, all of the songs are written by Daniel and Tom. Oh, brilliant! Mm -hmm. Okay, so what mm -hmm. gave you the idea to start singing and touring? Well, um. Started singing, is it nine years ago? Yes, it's all. Yes, I really noticed. Be. Yes, uh, yes, I really noticed before. Yeah, and the first song you wrote was "The Black of Lonely," wasn't it? Uh huh. That's right. Yeah. How did you come up with that song? Hmm. It's really great when all of the fans really do love to my songs. Between. Brilliant. So I know, what, obviously, you're currently touring at the moment with your album, The Songs of Gigs. But I've seen that you've got a new album coming out at the end of the year. Um, so is that all recorded? Is that ready to go? Yep. Yeah? It's being mixed at the moment, right, so okay. we've done all the recording, yeah. And can you say what it's called? What's the name? Well, our new first studio album is all about, um, that's how I see it. Okay. That's what it's called. That's, That's how I see it. And is that is that followed up by you touring when that album comes out as well? Um, yes. Yeah, big yeah. big tour in the autumn between September and November. I think we're doing about twenty gigs all oh, around wow. the country. O2 Academy venues as well. Wow. Cool. That's a big achievement. Um, <clears throat> so one thing I want to know is what how has life been for you since becoming. I mean, you're practically famous now, so since being on the Undateables and now touring, I mean, you're selling out venues, so, you know, you're obviously known to a lot of people. So what's that been like being famous? Being famous? Hmm, I wonder. Do you like being famous? I do like being famous, indeed. Do you have a lot of pretty girls asking you for photos? I have, and sometimes I am very good to be, I'm a star between I'm a celebrity and all of the fans will do a rise. Uh, Arrive, recon, recognise me before I was out outside. Oh, okay. Gets recognised everywhere we go. Yeah, so a lot of photos then. 
Yes. Do you like that though? Do you mind having people have photos with you? Yep. Do you like it? I'm good. So, obviously you're the front man, the singer of a band. If you could be any famous singer, who would it be? Who's your favourite singer of all time? My favourite singer? Hmm. Well, it's going to be um, really like... Really like... My favourite band is ABBA. Oh, wow, okay. They're doing a re Are they getting back together? I've heard they're like writing and releasing yeah. some new singles, but I don't know if they're touring or... I don't really know. Maybe the Daniel Wade for experience, ABBA, when we get back together? <laughs> oh, don't be ridiculous. I think you'd like that though, yeah. <laughs> I didn't think it to be on again. No, you don't think they get back together. Oh, yeah, never know. Be good though. I'd definitely like to see that. Yeah. I wasn't there. to be their feature when I had when I I I I uh, uh, I haven't do um Abba songs when I'm gonna perform in with Beyond Again because still I haven't be a uh, their feature. Okay. You never know though, maybe one day. Yeah, maybe one day indeed. Yeah, you never know, we've never seen ever. <laughs> I'll keep your question for you. So um I read that you, you're involved with a company called Carousel, or a company called yeah. Carousel. Can you just tell us a bit more about that? Yeah, so Carousel is a learning disability-led kind of arts organisation in Brighton um, that all of us in the band basically work for um, okay. as freelance music facilitators. And um, that's how we met Dan. So I've known Dan for kind of eight years, I think, through oh, wow. Carousel. Um, and we work with lots of different people to write songs and be in bands and record them, but they do... Um, like a film festival for learning disabled filmmakers as well. Um, awesome. So it's lots of different art forms, just giving people that support to, yeah. you know, make their dreams come true. Yeah, definitely. Um, so is there anywhere people can go and check that out or get in touch with you if they wanted to do something like that? Uh, yeah, I think the website is carousel.org.uk. Cool. Or we'll put a link below. Google uh, Carousel Brighton. Awesome. Um, and I think the most important question for me is. How do you get your hair looking so awesome? And do you think there's any <laughs> hope for me? There's, I mean, I don't really know what I've got going on at the moment, but how do you get your hair looking so good? Well, my hair was totally great, fine, thanks, between for my curly hair. Yeah, so do you do anything to it in the morning, or is it just...? Hmm, sometimes, but my hair was really look like Jim Morrison's after when he died. Oh, okay. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> Jim Morrison hair. I think your dad helps you with your hair, because he used to be a hairdresser, didn't he? Your parents. <laughs> So your dad's the merch guy slash stylist. Right? Ah. Awesome. Okay, <laughs> brilliant. Well, and finally, is there anything you would like to say to your fan? You're tired, are you? Oh, yeah. Sorry Fine. about that. <laughs> you. <Yeah. And> fin <laughs> finally, well, I won't keep it any longer because I know you've got a Nando's to eat, but is there anything you would like to say to your fans? Anybody coming tonight or future gigs? Well, of course I will. Well, all, all of you, my fans, I always can't wait what... What before what time I'm gonna performing here at what time? Uh, nine forty five PM tonight. Nine forty five PM and I shall see you tonight then. And so this is Daniel Wakeford until then. Good day. See you later then. Awesome. Thank you for having us guys.